Yes, yes, so hell is here. Today we have a very, very interesting one. This, I don't know why, was recommended to me multiple times in the space of a few hours the other day. I'd never heard of this person before and they'd never been recommended to me before, so I don't know why that was, but it certainly caught my attention. This is, excuse my pronunciation here, it's Dimash Kudai Bergen. He's from Kazakhstan and why it caught my attention is people are saying he's the best vocalist in the world. That's quite a large statement. Now if this is the case I imagine that I'd want to listen to a lot more of his works. I've not listened to anything yet by him. Never heard of him until the other day. This is Dimash SOS, a recording from 2021. Let's get straight into it. Very excited. <laughs> Extremely airy, which you must be doing on purpose. God, immediate goosebumps all through. That that initial phrase. Wait, um, let's see if he sings that phrase again. He did. So that initial phrase, okay, from what I've seen so far, from the, what, 30, 40 seconds I've seen so far, I can't give my thoughts on whether he's the best vocalist in the world. What intrigued me so much is that range of that phrase, which isn't actually too low in itself, it's kind of, you know, baritone range. It goes up to there, doesn't he? But he's doing it so quietly, so easily. Remarkable, remarkable. That's, yeah, quite cool, let's keep going. Such an aura on stage, just standing still. Sorry, sorry, I'm going to need to... That, that immediately reminded me of something. If you're squeamish, maybe cover your ears for the next part. So, it reminds me of the castrato or castrati. The castrati were infamous singers, particularly, you know, pre kind of 19th century, where boys, before their voices broke, which means before their testicles dropped, essentially, you can think of it like their balls were cut off. This prevented their voices from ever breaking. This practice obviously became illegal. I think there was a recording of a castrato in the early 1900s, but we don't have recordings of them. Now, there was a superstar, kind of like Kanye West equivalent, who was called Farinelli. There is a film where they try to recreate that voice, because what would happen with a castrato, you, you lack testosterone, what would happen is they'd grow really tall with huge rib cages, which meant that they basically have this like unpressurized huge tank of air in them which meant that they could sing extremely long phrases without breathing they had unbelievable ranges they could go super super high super super powerfully they'd be singing in the ranges of sopranos women whilst being much more powerful i just quickly googled dimash before this reaction and i saw that he's one meter 91 centimeters tall so he's very very tall and i no doubt that contributes to that of course i'm not saying he's a castrato but his voice reminds me of it i'll show you a quick clip from that film let me find it right here how they made the voice is they combined a male countertenor's voice, so a male falsettist, with a female singer. And they imagine Kustrati would have sounded something like this.
<laughs> I can imagine Dimash having that same effect, making people faint. Right, I'm so sorry for that long spiel, but I, 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 I had to say that because that's what it's reminding me of. He's got high chest voice as well. I appreciate the band is supporting him, but I want, I want to see him here. He, he, he's up there, down there, again, again. That's the bottom ranges of the bass there. I need a second to compose myself here. A few things to unpack. So now his range has gone, you know, kind of the, I don't know how he did that with his voice, but it was quite cool. It's just the control he has. You know, like guys can sing up there, but it, it's nowhere near the same. The control he has, he can just do it quietly. He can add some air onto it, which typically is a lot more difficult. But then going up there and almost to the whistle notes. So this is very operatic, male sopranos, a lot of them do exist. That is just absurd. That's just absurd. It's just absurd. Must be a good show as well with the, uh, you know, the screen behind him. How was that, sorry, how was that done with the wings? How are they moving with the camera? I guess, are they, they must be perfectly in line with the camera and going across like that. So here, that's like a blend of his chest and his falsetto. Pure falsetto. me! wow yeah that's that is quite overwhelming in a good way of course that that that's insane if people are branding him the best vocalist in the world then i guess you should be expecting something insane i will definitely be discovering more of him so if there are any songs by him to react to let me know down in the comments any any particular ones now does he write his music i actually quite like this song i thought it was quite interesting harmonically i'm not going to touch on that side of things this video i think his voice is enough to try and just 
talk about I'm not going to give my opinion on whether I think he's the best or not in the world but what I will say one his range is crazy two he can go up high in his chest voice and then blend it with his falsetto which again a lot of people can do but he can also go up and access that kind of whistle part of the register but it still seems a bit more like a full voice as well which a lot of people lose when 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 your voice breaks crazy it really is crazy well thank you to everyone who recommended that to me because that is insane we may have just discovered a new favorite artist of ours thank you very much for watching as always would appreciate a like subscribe and i will see you next time